Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've got a one few days. It's been requested a few times. I've got a little section down here. It's got a gallery in it. When I click on this button above, it's going to hide that one and bring up a different section. It's also going to change the text on our button up here. So if I click on it, it's going to flip to our little blue modules there, and the text is going to change to show section Y. If I flip on it again, it's going to go back to show section X. There's our little gallery. Really easy to do. We've got a bit of coding to do today. Don't worry, I've done it all for you. All you'll need to do is copy and paste, and I'll show you how to modify the code if you need to. So let's get started. I'm going to start a new page. And we'll give it a name. And I want to use the Divi Builder. I'm going to go ahead and build from scratch. First thing I want to do is add a button. I'm going to add a row with three columns and I'll pop the button in the middle row. Let's click on the middle row here. There's a little button. And I'll change that text in a minute. I'll show you where to change it in the code a little bit later on. Don't need to put a link in. The important thing is we need to go to our advanced, give it a custom CSS ID. So go to CSS ID, not class. Make sure you do it in CSS ID. I'm going to call mine my dash button. And we'll save that. Great. Well, let's create a couple of sections to switch between now. I'm going to hit the little blue button to add a section. I'm going to make it a regular section. And let's keep it fairly simple. Let's put three little columns in there again. And we'll use a call to action. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'll simply clone this twice. One, two, with the little squares right there. Grab whichever, it doesn't matter which one, they're all identical. Go into the next one. And grab him, pull him in the middle. Great. So there's our first little section there. Now we need to go up into the section itself, the blue tab. And again, over to advanced, CSS IDs and classes in the CSS ID again. Let's call this one section dash X. And you can change this to what you want. I'll show you how to change it in the code again in a minute when we do the code. And for expediency, let's just clone this whole section for our other section. I'll give it a different background color so you can tell between the two. There it is. Let's go in and perhaps change the background color on this section. Back into the blue tab. Down a background, always under content background. Let's make it perhaps a light gray or something like that. Great. Now we need to go to the advanced again on this one. We need to give it a different CSS ID. At the moment it's section X. Let's change this to section Y. The reason that's in there is because we cloned it, just copied the one that was on top, section X. Okay. So we've now got two sections, section X and section Y. Let's add a code module. And we'll pop the code in here. Now, because we're using JavaScript for this today, I need to open some script tags, which are left pointy bracket, the word script, and right pointy bracket. When you put the right pointy in, it'll put the closing script tag in there for you. The only difference is that's got a forward slash in front of the script there. Okay, well, let's grab the code. Like I say, I'll put a link to this code down below. I can't put it below the video, unfortunately, because of the pointy tags and things like that. And let's paste it in here. And let's take a quick look at this. We've created a function that's going to toggle, toggle our sections on an event. And it's telling it to get section X by ID. Remember, we gave that CSS ID of section X. If you want to change that to something else, this is where you change it right there. And section Y, again, if you want to change that, you can change it right there. Down below that, we've got the button, and we gave that button an ID of my button. 
So again, if you want to use your own IDs or if you're duplicating this, you want to use different IDs so it doesn't get mixed up. You'll have, also, if you're duplicating this on the same page, you'll have to give the function a slightly different name. So if we roll down, it's basically saying if section X is displayed, hide it when it clicks. If section X is displayed, display it when you click on section Y. Button text content. This is where the button's going to change when we click. So it's going to say show section Y. This is where you change the button content if you want to say gallery or whatever it is your sections happen to be. More information on blah blah blah. And when it toggles, it's going to change to this name, show section X. And again, if you want to change what the button says, that's where you do it between these inverted commas. Make sure you don't cut off those inverted commas. And I'll put some notes there for you so that you know what to do. Now, we want to set that first section to display none because we only want to see one of these sections initially. So section Y, our section second section there, which is the gray one, section Y, is going to be set to display none. So when we save this, you won't see that section. And here's the function that we've created to actually toggle the button there. Great. One last thing I want to do before this, we do this, because it's going to change our button text up here, I want to it initially to say show the section that's not being shown which is going to be section Y. So let's go into our button here I'm going to pop it into the middle and the text let's have it say show section Y or whatever yours happens to be. And there we have it. Great! Well, if we've done everything correctly now, we should be able to do this. Let's roll down to our little purple button. We'll save page changes, save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And right away, you should notice we've not seen that gray section, section Y there. If we want to see section Y, we can hit the button. Now we're seeing section Y and not section X. Perhaps I should have put different modules in there. That is actually section Y, but we use the same modules. And if you click on it again, it's going to show section X. And that's a regular Divi button, so you can put whatever icon in there, style that button however you wish in the normal way. And every time you click on it, it's going to toggle between those two. And we've had that requested for a while. It's taken me a, a little while to get around to making this video. But there you go guys, there's how to switch between two sections on a button and have the button text change also. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget there's a link down below that will take you to the code if you just want to copy and paste it. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.